Welcome to the training business. Amongst our clients in industries ranging from pharmaceutical and biotech to media and high finance, developing powerful internal training is key. Across all sectors, training has become a core component of how businesses work. Training builds new skills, empowers talent, and reduces turnover. Internal training aligns individuals around common goals with tools to achieve them. As experienced trainers, we believe that most internal training efforts could be better. Objectives are often unclear, content is not properly tailored to specific audiences, and trainers are underprepared as presenters, coaches, and as models of the skills they are teaching. The presence of these three factors can lead to unmotivated participants and costly, underwhelming results. Improving internal training requires discipline, cooperation, and communication. Like most successful communication strategies, you need to begin by answering two fundamental questions. What is my objective? And who are my participants? Answering these questions is important. They should be clear, declarative, necessary, specific, and achievable. In other words, you're beginning with the end in mind. When this training ends, I want my participants to... Once you answer your objective and participants questions and your team agrees with them, discipline is key. Everybody in your organization has preferences, suggestions, ideas, and interests. Some helpful, some hurtful. Knowing which elements to incorporate it is aided by embracing your objective and knowing your participants. Debates can become prolonged and sustained if you veer too far away from agreed upon goals. We understand that internal power dynamics often dictate the extraneous elements that are added to training. We have also seen good initiatives fail due to a lack of focus. Use your objective and participants as a filter for your own ideas and the suggestions of others. When you design your exercises, try to make them as practical as possible. Also, try to train leaders and managers first with tools to help sustain the learning. One more thing. The role of the trainer is powerful. Trainers should be gifted communicators with excellent presentation skills. They should also know that their role is that of a mentor, not a star. The participant is the star. Beware of trainers who shine more light on themselves than on their participants' goals. Need help achieving your internal training goals? Let us know. We'll be happy to listen, understand, and help you exceed expectations.